Hi, this is Katina. I recently won a ligaphone ligature at a master class that David Krakauer gave at George Mason University. It was very exciting. I very rarely win anything. So the following video is me unboxing the ligature, trying it out, seeing what I think of it. So thank you very much Ligaphone for providing the ligatures for the raffle where I was lucky enough to win one. And there was a student, I believe too, a really good advanced high school student that won one too. And thank you also for being a sponsor of David Krakauer's along with Selmer. He was my teacher. He does wonderful work. I was very proud to be one of his students and I still am today. I will link to one of the videos I made interviewing him in the comments below. And thank you George Mason University for hosting the masterclass. It was really an excellent, excellent masterclass. So thank you Ligaphone and please enjoy my unboxing video. One. And I won a Ligaphone ligature. So I'm gonna take it out of the box and try it. So, oh wow, that is the mouthpiece cap. So to put it in comparison, here's my current mouthpiece cap. So it's much smaller. So I'm interested about how this will go on my clarinet. And the ligature itself, let's see if I can get it out. Wait, I have, ah, paper. And here's the ligature. So what I appreciate, is this paper packaging so that's super easy to recycle so yay like a phone paper packaging all right so here it is it's gold it has those three little bars there and i don't know if you can see the inside but this is sort of a mesh patch that's in there um it looks like it's metal and not cloth like some ligatures and i'm seeing these two little knobs right there and it looks like that must be how ah that must be how the mouthpiece cap goes on something like that all right so let's put this on and try it out um i am one of those people that puts my ligature on first so there's a big big debate in the clarinet world which way to put on your ligature whether it's you put the reed on first and the ligature but i'm a ligature first kind of person so this screws in the back ligatures are mainly made for righties so <clears throat> sorry left-handed people all right it's nice and easy to turn the screw you never want to turn them all the way i've seen ligatures break through the years when people twist them all the way in so you want to have a little bit of give it has nice bright response already in open g So it's very smooth. I feel like it's very responsive. The big test for me is always an articulation test to see how smooth the articulations are up and down through the registers. That's very bright. It has a lot of ring to it, so I like that. I'd be curious to try a bunch of different reads with this ligature. It. It's very responsive. Um, I'm hearing a lot of upper partials in it. So like I said, I'd be curious about trying it with some other reeds. I also like to see the sound file with different equipment I use. So next time I make a video, I will check out the sound file on this to see how it's vibrating and compare it to some of the other ligatures that I plan. So here's the big uh, mouthpiece cap test. I'm always concerned about the tips of my reeds breaking and even the tip of my mouthpiece chipping. So I pay a lot of attention to that and I'm going to just focus on that part first. It doesn't look like that's gonna work with this particular ligature, but what I like about these knobs is it guides you really nicely to put that mouthpiece cap on. So I have protected the tip of my mouthpiece, tip of my reed, and the whole front of my reed with this one. Kind of looks like I have a giant black reed on here so it says on the box that you can use this one for alto saxophone too. Um, so if anybody has reviewed it for alto, I'd be curious about checking that, that out. Now I wanna see if it'll work on my alto clarinet mouthpiece. 
Um, so that is the Ligaphone ligature. It sounds good. I like it. So as you can see, I really like the Ligaphone ligature. I am looking forward to sharing it with my students and my colleagues, letting them try it when I see them. And thank you again for providing it for the raffle. I'm really going to enjoy playing it. Bye.